In the late 80s and early 90s, black lead TV shows were mostly relegated to sitcoms like The Cosby Show, Martin, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. While many of those titles are still popular in syndication, the 21st century has ushered in more drama series like Empire and How to Get Away with Murder. Most of these creative changes can be attributed to the rise of black showrunners in Hollywood. Scandal creator Shonda Rhimes is the perfect example. She recently signed a lucrative nine-figure deal with Netflix to develop new original programming. While this creative pool of black showrunners is still small when compared to the overall television landscape, it's inspiring to see new diverse perspectives in entertainment. In honor of Black History Month, we picked five of our favorite black lead TV shows currently airing on television in no particular order. Well, that's an interesting thing to say. If I grow up. The Shy explores Chicago's diverse political, educational, and criminal systems through the lens of a diverse group of individuals. At times, the series compares favorably to HBO's The Wire. While The Shy can be bleak at times, there is also plenty of humor and a profound sense of hope. Creator Lena Waithe has found a way to balance the show's more morbid subject matter with the sublime. Waithe is able to accomplish this with the help of three charming Chicago youths, Jake, Kevin, and Papa. Through the eyes of these grade school kids, you're able to see the various paths available to inner city kids in Chicago and how they navigate through the dangers in and out of school. Sometimes I can come off a little overprotective. Yes. The CW's fifth superhero show in the Arrowverse is a welcome change from its chiefly young roster. Jefferson Pierce is a high school principal and a divorced father of two teenage girls. Instead of battling metahumans or deadly aliens, Jefferson fights local gangsters, which gives the show a more personal feel. The criminal organizations affect the lives of both his students and his daughters. And while Black Lightning doesn't redefine the superhero genre, it does do an excellent job of grounding its characters in a world that's relatable. That back and forth was so good, I felt like Shonda Rhimes wrote us. I was thinking that the whole time, but I didn't think I could say it. <laughs> Based on the 2014 movie of the same name, Dear White People explores racial issues at a mostly white Ivy League university. The brilliance of the series can be found in the nuanced types of racism that the narrative explores. Instead of only focusing on white versus black, Dear White People also addresses black on black racism. And even though the series deals with complex social issues, it never loses its sense of humor. Dear White People is a funny and poignant journey through post-racial America. I think we could outrun anything, that the life would never catch up to us, but I was wrong. Power is a gritty crime drama set against the backdrop of New York City. The series centers on James Ghost St. Patrick, a drug dealer who wants to leave his life of crime behind for a chance at owning a legitimate business. James's story is similar to The Godfather's Michael Corleone, but instead of merely focusing on the patriarchs, Power also explores the lives of Ghost's children and his wife Tasha. The series also delves into the political and judicial aspects of fighting drug trafficking in New York City. While power can sometimes lean towards melodrama, the series remains grounded with engaging stories and exciting action sequences. This is Paperboy, and you're tuned into the Fresh Mix rap playlist. Long live fresh. Let's do it again, and just like this time, like you're at a party and everything's crazy. Rapper, producer, and all-around creative genius Donald Glover has created something very special for FX, a little comedy series called Atlanta. The story follows Ernest, Alfred, and Darius as they navigate through the competitive music industry. It's difficult to categorize Atlanta into a single genre, especially with Glover's effective use of magical realism throughout the series. While the show does take place in our present-day reality, there are some peculiar scenes involving people dressed in cow costumes and a mentally unstable Michael Jackson-looking character named Teddy Perkins that will make you question if the series exists in a different dimension. In the end, Atlanta is one of the most inventive programs on television and should not be missed. What's good? Thanks for watching. Let us know what your favorite Black Lead television series is in the comments. And don't forget to check out our videos on what's new to Netflix in February and our review of Umbrella Academy. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.